Almost every training session has a hitting warm up at the start. The challenge with even calling it a warm up though is that it promotes coaches and players to have kind of a laissez faire attitude. It becomes a very low intensity, low quality activity where players and coaches chat and basically just go through the motions until the real session starts. To avoid this waste of time, we have rebranded this section of the session, Fundamental Volume Training. Let's break the term down to better understand what it is. First, the session is about volume. In other words, it includes a significant amount of repetition. There should be hundreds of touches on the ball in a short time. This is accomplished through cooperative live ball drilling. It also includes training, that is, creating tactical and technical habits through the repetition. And finally, it's about fundamentals, which are the tactical and technical skills that are the foundation of all tennis development. So the definition of fundamental volume training is a cooperative live ball drill routine to reinforce fundamental skills and create tactical and technical habits. Since players are doing this routine every session, every week, every month throughout the year, whatever is reinforced will become ingrained habits. That's why it's critical to maintain quality because a poor quality session will be repeated so often bad habits will result. It is important that the fundamental volume routine cycles through ground strokes, volleys, overheads and lobs, and serves and returns. For example, overheads are an important shot to master because they are often an opportunity to finish a point. However, without fundamental volume training sessions, it's possible for players to not hit overheads for weeks and as a result have ineffective overheads. The drills are typically only two minutes each, which doesn't seem like much, but since the routine is done every session, skills will easily accumulate over time. The entire routine takes 20 to 30 minutes. This activity is actually a critical piece in an overall situation training process. In situation training, often specific situations are being trained. So many of the general skills can be undertrained or even ignored if there isn't a mechanism to deal with them. And that's fundamental volume training. Here are some potential highlights a coach may choose to reinforce in their routine. Focusing on a clear tactical intention while hitting. An athletic posture where the player is typically in a lower stance and consistently split steps before each shot. Appropriate setup and especially making sure recovery is connected to each shot. The recovery needs to be in the appropriate location in an athletic position at the optimal time. Any other relevant technical elements the coach may choose to highlight, including fundamentals like timing, etc. Ball control. The coach can specify a particular height, direction, distance, spin, or speed as a focus in any individual drill. Let's take a look at an example of a fundamental training session. This is with under 12 players at the North Vancouver Tennis Center starting their journey as tournament players. Okay, guys, come over here. You can get that ball out of the way. Okay, come and grab a strip. And Luca, I'm gonna be you for a second, so just follow me. Okay, we're gonna go service line to service line. Just one small step behind the service line. Put it down. This is gonna be our recovery position that you're recovering back here. The tactic is I'm trying to take time away from my opponent, but we're still going to be cooperative. So you're not trying to win. And the technique is I'm going to try to take the ball at waist level. Don't let it fall. So there's waist level. Don't let it fall. And again, take it on the rise. That's it. And I take it on the rise. And we're looking for 10. As soon as I get 10, you stop. One point. And we'll see how many sets of 10 you can get in two minutes. So Luca, you're over here. Go ahead, jump in. Again, take it on the rise at waist level. Let's go. Keep your feet moving. All right, yeah, let's see that recovery before the ball bounces. And recover, 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 recover. That's it. Okay, let's go. Take it early, Nate. Again, take it early, take it early. Keep going. 
That's it. Good one. Okay, that's okay. Stay cooperative though. Stay cooperative. All right, don't let it get above waist level. That's it. You let it stay down. Take it early, yes. Okay, Nate, recover before the ball bounces. Let's go, recover, 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 recover. Here you go. Thank you. That's it. Okay, nice. Again, take it waist level here. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Waist level, waist level, waist level. Don't let it get down. Yes. That's it, and recover. Okay, go grab it. This is the drill. What will happen is, the tactic is I've hit an approach shot, I've come up, and I'm doing my first volley. And my first volley, I'm trying to keep you deep. Yes, keep the ball back. That's it. And you're trying to keep the ball nice. You're trying to keep the ball below my shoulder height, because otherwise I'll be able to attack. The technique we'll use is if I level my racket off and push it through, it's going to send it deep and same thing, you level off and it's just going to stay low. If you do too much flippy topspin, it's going to go up. Okay, so I level off, there it is. Oh, almost. Try it again. There's the shot, there's my level off. There's my level off, here we go. There's one leveling off. And that's it, that's how we're going to do it. Oh, nice and low. Okay, let's try it. You're in. Okay, and again, keep it low. Oh, nice pickup. Again, just level it off, Sam, level it off. Level, 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 swing, level, swing. That's a good one, that was nice and level. Same thing, Luca, just level it through. That's it, Tara. Level, level. Yes, beautiful. That was weight right down at his feet. That's it. Level it out. Nice. That's it, Sam. Really good. Keep it low. Yes. Good, Luca. Nice depth. That's it, Nate. And level, level, level. Good one. That's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, keep going. And again, level it out. Nice. That was nice and low. Good pickup. Okay, and guys, half volleys. Yeah, half volleys are perfectly fine. Hold on a second. If they hit the ball that's in front of me, it's the same level off. I can take it on a half volley. Let's go. That's it. Nice. Level it out. You can push it out. Push it out. Yep. Keep her deep. Push it out. Yes. That's it. And Luca, let's see that snap back to that recovery. Yes, good recovery. Okay, keep going. Sam, I didn't see the ball bounce twice, did I? <laughs> keep going. Oh, that's again. You didn't level it out. And it got too high. Okay, hold on. I'm going to rally with Tara. Okay, and now let's make sure that we put them one step away from the center line. One step away from the center line. This is my recovery position for cross courts. Right, so we're going to rally cross court. And the idea is I want to get back to here before the ball bounces if I can. Try to get back to this recovery position. The tactic, though, is you're trying to move me off to the side, so my racket's off to the side, right? And then I'm trying to move you off to the side. And the way that we're going to do that is making sure the face of my racket is looking at my target. Okay? Whoa, that's a wicked angle. <laughs> Let's try it again. There it is. Okay, and there's off to the side, and I recover. That's it. And I get off to the side, and I recover. Okay. Oh, a little bit too far. And we're only going to be in the singles court. So, Luca, you come on over here. Every time you take me to the side, I'll give you a point. Every time I take you to the side, or Luca takes you to the side, you give him a point. Okay, and you just count his points. How many times did he take you to the side? Okay, go. And backhands on this side. Oop, unless it's in the center. That's it. 
Okay. That was really nice, Sam. Again, get on the outside of the ball. Beautiful. Right in the corner. And recover, 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 recover. That's it. Go, 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 go. Nice, Nate. Okay, good one. Get that recovery, though, before the ball bounces. Okay, back to that recovery position, Luca. That's it. And recover, Sam. Recover, recover, recover. There we go. It's all right. Start again. Keep going. Oh, big angle. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Nice. Another, another big angle. Okay, keep going. You can get those. You can get those. Make sure you see if you're reading it, that it's going for an angle. Here it is. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Go, 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 go. You can get it. Beautiful. And you're here. Just not quite in time. <laughs> but that was good, though. You two bring your yellow strips up to halfway between the service line and the net. Halfway between the service line and the net. And Nate, I'm with you. I'll take your position for one second. Okay, this time, the tactic is I'm on defense, so I'm gonna gain time. I need to get the ball higher to have more time. Your job is hitting an overhead, but you're just gonna work on being accurate. We're gonna be cooperative. If you're accurate and you can hit it to me, you could hit it away for a winner if you felt like it too. Okay, but we're gonna cooperate. And the technique we're gonna, I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna open my racket face up, and that's gonna send it up for that time and just catch it. Your job is to make sure, again, when you touch the ball, your racket face is looking to me. Okay, so I gain time, you hit an overhead. I gain time, you hit an overhead, all right? Let's go again. And when I do one lob, one overhead. One lob, one overhead. Every time I do one lob, one overhead, that's one point. Okay, so there's one lob, one overhead. Ooh, just out. <laughs> do it again. One lob, here it is. One overhead, ooh, almost again. So we gotta work on one lob, one overhead gets us a point. It's only two minutes, how many points can we get? Okay, and again, where's that racket angle? Let's go. One lob, one overhead, and there's a nice lob. Oh, deep into the corner. And again, yeah, nice, just when you touch it. Where's the racket looking, Tara? Where's the racket looking? Yes. That's it, and recover, recover. Okay, overheaders, make sure you recover. Yep. Good time. Yes, you're gaining time. That's it. Here we go. That's it. Okay, really good control of the racket angle, guys. Okay, hold on. Take the yellow strips and take them to the back. You can leave those there. Okay, I'm gonna be you for one second. Okay, so Nate, return position, and Thara, into your position like you're gonna return, closer more to the sideline. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be a serve to the backhand, return cross court, plus one. Okay, so I serve to the backhand, return cross court, plus one, and catch it, and that's one sequence. One sequence gets us a point. Okay, here we go. Serve to the backhand, one shot, and there's the return, and that's a sequence. Okay, but the return and the, set, the first shot has to be on this half of the court, doubles alleys out, it's gotta be past the service line. So serve, return, plus one. Serve, return, plus one. And again, racket angle is gonna make that direction control. Here we go. There's a serve to the backhand, return, and not deep, so you don't get the point. OK, 
Okay, oh, again, pass the service line. Make sure we go past the service line. There's a serve, return, and one. Nice, you guys got a point. Way to go, it's only two minutes. It's only two minutes. How many points in two minutes? Serve to the backhand. Cross court return, not quite deep though. A little more net clearance for depth. Implemented effectively, the fundamental volume training section of the training session can be a powerful tool in a situation training process to create a foundation of solid skills.